Hello, this is Michael McCarthy here. In this video, we're going to take a look at a kind of a second part of our LOD setup. In the first video, we took our character's hair and we added a generate guy data modifier that would kind of give us information about how close or far away the camera is. And based on that, we set our uh, number of hairs to be generated to be uh, at a full amount when the camera is close and at a lesser amount when the character is far away. So culling out some of those hairs. Now another thing we might want to do is when we are far away and we have less hairs is potentially make those hairs a little bit thicker and this way that the hair will look um, you know a little bit more uh, lush and full. So to do that we're actually going to follow a similar process. I'm going to go in here, I'll turn off show end result and just set another OX generate guide data. We'll have a similar set of parameters here so I'm going to go into name my channel thick LOD and then I'm gonna go and keep it at the strand distance from object and we're gonna keep the same source values that we had before so 10 and 440 and for our minimum and maximum what we want to do is when we're very close we want that minimum to be 1 meaning it's gonna use the same value for thickness in the render settings modifier as we currently have but when we're far away we want it to be a little thicker so we're gonna set this to 3 so that's gonna multiply that value by 3 and we'll get a little thicker hair. We're gonna go and pick our camera. So now we have the camera and we can choose show end result. And now when we pop up into render settings what we can do is go into our thickness map, click on assign channel, and we should see the new channel hanging out right there. So thick LOD. We'll pick that and say assign and immediately you can see the hair will change a little bit. Okay so because we're a little bit further away than that minimum value and when we pop out to 100 you can see that that hair gets thicker so we reduce the amount of hair and it gets slightly thicker when we kind of toggle back and forth I'll just go in to that uh, generate guide modifier and we'll make this something fairly extreme so maybe five there you can see at 100 it's very thick and when we go back here to one it gets much much thinner so we can kind of tweak this to our liking to decide where we like it. Um, I'm going to say something you know, small like 3 is going to be good. You don't want to make jarring changes when you're doing LODs. Um, this will certainly blend pretty smoothly and animate over the distance of the camera so there shouldn't be any noticeable popping of the hair getting uh, thicker or anything like that. It'll just as you get further away look a little bit more full because it's getting a little thicker as you're reducing the hairs. So this is how you can go ahead and add another OX generate guide data to control the thickness of the hair based on the distance of the camera. And it might give you a little bit more control over the LOD setup that you have for your character. Okay, hopefully that helps you in your uh, character grooming and setups. Thank you very much.